Einstein here. Uh, this is a super easy song, really fun to play, uh, perfect for a beginner uh, guitar student. It's called Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Um, I had a bunch of different requests for this one, so I thought I would get this to you as soon as I had a little extra time here. Uh, there's only three chords to the whole song, so and, and the nice thing is, is you're spending enough time on each chord to where even if you're not very good at switching the chords, you have a lot of time uh, to move. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make an A minor chord. So your first finger is heading over to the second string, first fret. Your middle finger is heading to the fourth string, second fret. And your third finger is going to the third string, second fret as well. And you just strum the bottom five strings. Okay, so remember, keep your wrist down a little bit. Okay, and squeeze those strings down. And then you're gonna go to C. Now you could go to C like this. A lot of people will make C by simply taking the third finger and just moving it up from A minor. You're just gonna put it on the fifth string, third fret right there. So you just flip it over. Like this. It's a great way of getting over there. If you'd rather play, a lot of people use C add nine, which is perfectly fine too. Uh, this is technically called a C add nine, but many people just refer to it as C. And here what I'm doing is I'm making the bottom of a G chord here with my pinky on the first string, third fret, my third finger on the second string, third fret, my middle finger on the fifth string, third fret, and then my first finger on the fourth string, second fret. And I'm strumming those bottom four. You could make C that way too. And again, remember with any of these videos, if you need to play easy C or something, don't worry about it. Just have some fun with the song, right? So you're going A minor. Then to C of your choice, which is this one or this one or this, or sorry, it's this one. Easy C is done by just playing your first finger on the uh, first fret of the second string and you just strum the bottom three strings like this. And you could do that too, that's perfectly fine. Then you head over to the G chord and I'm making a four finger G here. Two on the bottom here, just like I was talking about, only my middle finger now goes up to the sixth string, third fret, and my first finger goes on the fifth string, second fret. So that's why a lot of people like to play C at nine and then G back and forth, because it's a lot easier to move between the two. But you can see how A minor to C is quite easy as well. So there's all kinds of different fun options that you could do with this song, all right? That's the entire song. You just do the same thing over and over and over. Now the big question is always, well, how should I strum it, right? Now if you look at my hand, my hand is moving at this speed. So the trick is, if you're new to this, maybe just strum once per measure, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That way it gives you a little extra time to move between chords. If you're super new at it, you could strum every eight beats. You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. You could do something like that. Um, but if you're a little more advanced with what's happening with your chording hand, your, your right hand could be doing a rhythm that's based off of this. And of course, with every song that you learn how to play, you just have to decide what kind of strumming pattern you want. You could do like a down, down, up, up, down, I mean, any sort of thing. What I mostly think about when you're doing these sort of strumming things is, is um, trying to accent every once in a while sounds really nice. So when you're going... To practice that a little bit. Maybe you're going. You know, maybe you want to make like an actual strumming pattern. Or maybe just something real simple where you're going down, 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 up, down. In the beginning stages of learning a song, you're always going to deal with, you know, well, how to strum it. Should I create a pattern or what should I do? And as you get better, you're going to start learning just to feel the motion of your hand and hit the strings at various times to create different kinds of rhythms. So super easy, uh, really fun song to explore and keep expanding your musical ability. So have fun and make sure if you have any requests that you let me know and I'd be more than happy to get to your songs.